I'm going to show you our new super collaborative workflow around having separate Superbase instances for local development, preview, and production. This is possible because of some awesome changes to our Superbase CLI and our brand new database branching feature. Let's get into it. Let's start with this existing project that's hosted by Superbase. So this would be the live production version of our database and is currently just a single table for countries. Let's create a new Superbase project that's running locally and clone down the state of production. So we can initialize our current directory as a Superbase project using the Superbase init command. And we'll say, no, we don't want to generate VS Code workspace settings. So this creates a new Superbase directory that has all of our configuration information. Next, we want to log in with Superbase so our CLI has access to the production version of our project. So let's run Superbase login. This requires us to generate an access token. So let's go to our Superbase dashboard for our production app and click our little user icon in the bottom left, then account preferences, access tokens, and then click generate new token. We can call this anything. I'm going to go with demo. And now we can copy our new access token and paste it into our terminal to give our CLI the same permissions as us being logged in through the dashboard. So let's link our local project to our production version using Superbase link dash dash project ref and then our project's ID, which we we can get from the dashboard by going to settings and then under general settings we have our project id this will ask us for our database password if you're not sure what that is you can reset it by going to the database settings page and clicking reset database password i'm going to click here to generate a new password and then copy this one before clicking reset password and then paste it into the terminal now to pull down the structure of the production database let's run superbase db remote commit this creates a new migrations folder with an init script which is all the sql we need to run to sync the state of our local database with our production one hosted by Superbase. And this doesn't just contain schema changes, but also settings, extensions, and roles and permissions, basically everything we need to clone the state of our production database. And if we go to the production version of our Superbase project and go to database and then migrations, we can see the same migration has been created for our production database to ensure that all versions of our Superbase project remain in sync. So let's run our local Superbase project with Superbase DB start. And we can see this has run our new migration file to set up the structure of our database, as well as our seed.sql file to populate our database with data. Now this file is currently empty, but we'll look at adding some data soon. Now we can connect to our local Postgres instance using PSQL or any other Postgres clients using the host of localhost, username of Postgres, and port 54322. The default password is Postgres, and now that we're connected, we can run backslash DT to see a list of our tables, and so we can see our countries table is there. We can select the data from our countries table with select star from countries, and we can see that this table is empty. So let's pull down the data from production by running superbase db dump dash dash data only, and then write this to the file at superbase slash seed.sql. And if we open up this seed.sql file, we can see it contains all of the countries from production. So now we can run the seed.sql file against our local database by running that psql command again but this time passing the file at superbase slash seed.sql. And again, the password is Postgres. And we can see this has successfully written 249 countries to our local database. We can confirm this by connecting with PSQL and then running our select star from countries command. And we can see this now has some data. The cool thing is now that the state of our database lives alongside our code, we can version control it along with the rest of our project using Git. So we can say Git add superbase, to stage that Superbase folder. And then if we run git status, we can see the changes that we could commit and push to somewhere like GitHub. Which brings us to our brand new, very exciting feature called database branching. This is currently in private alpha, so make sure to keep watching to learn how you can get access to this awesome feature and allows us to create new ephemeral databases for each branch of our project. It's basically Git for Postgres. So let's say we're working on a Git branch called feet slash new members, and this is our project. So we have a few migrations already in the Superbase folder, and we've pushed this local branch up to GitHub. So our project has a main branch and a branch for our new feature. So let's do the same for our database by using the Superbase CLI to create a new branch. Now our hosted Superbase project becomes our production branch and is linked to the main branch in GitHub. But now we also have this preview database branch, which is linked to our new feature. So it's basically a clone of the structure of our production database. So let's make some changes to our Superbase instance locally and then use the Superbase CLI to detect the difference between these two databases. This adds a new migration file with our changes that are specific to our new feature we're working on locally. Now we can push that new migration file to our feature branch on GitHub, where Superbase will automatically detect that the database has changed and run that new migration file against the preview database. Awesome. 
Our new feature is complete, so let's merge it into our main branch and deploy it to production. So this should look pretty familiar. We just create a pull request in GitHub. Our integration will confirm that the new migrations can actually be run against our production database. And then when we merge this PR, these migrations will automatically be run on the production database, launching our feature to the world. Now that our feature is in prod, we can safely delete this feature branch in GitHub which will also delete our preview database. To get early access to this awesome new feature, check out the link to the blog in the description. We are super excited to see what you're gonna build with this new collaborative model for Superbase environments and hear about what database branching is going to unlock for you and your team. So let us know in the comments what you're gonna build. If you wanna get started on that AI hype train, I recommend you check out this video right here where we look at using hugging face models to provide ChatGPT with some custom context to answer questions outside its original training data using some very simple super base tooling. But until next time, keep building cool stuff.